there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Word to your mother. Hey peeps, it's your boy Joe. Uh, me and Steve couldn't get together this week because he's filming his special and uh, he's prepping for that. But um, as promised, we wanted to release an early episode that we had recorded together when we were figuring out the name and what this podcast would be. We had affectionately called it Yin Yang Parmesan. And it is just uh, us talking and getting together. We didn't take any questions or give any advice yet because we didn't know our format, but it's a lot of good conversation. So I'm about to hit you with that right now. We'll be back next week with our normal format, but I thought this would be a lot of fun for our fans to check out. So enjoy, y'all. We already started. Here we, we go. sit down? Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Steve. You just got here. I just got here. Here what, we go. What gives, man? I had to get my coffee. Okay. I apologize. I have a three o'clock coffee every day. It smells good. Never had a cup of coffee, true or false? I've never had a cup of coffee in my true. life. True. See, now I don't know if I could trust you. <laughs> you never had a, a, a sip of whiskey. True. So how do I trust you? Okay. I guess coffee we're and whiskey. I, I, coffee and whiskey. That's, the, that's a good go. name. Coffee and whiskey. I feel like by now we should have had a name. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's definitely been a while. Coffee and whiskey is not bad. Coffee and whiskey. Yes. The other one we came up with was Familiar and Famous. Yes. Um, and that might be course, a little presumptuous, that though, is, right? That is. Um, because we also don't want to point fingers on who, who's what. Oh, we know who. And then the other one that I really liked was uh, Yin Yang Parmesan, <laughs> <laughs> so, which still makes you giggle. Um, coffee and whiskey. We should call this. The, we could call it the Washington, the Washington Football Team podcast. Oh, that's a very good idea yeah. too. But then we, <laughs> we just want to make sure. I don't. Uh, we should be drinking coffee and whiskey in every one, though. Well, you could have your coffee, and I would have a shot of whiskey that would be gone within the first thirty seconds. Right. Yeah. Right. Off to the races. Choice of uh, beverage when you're out and about on the town for you. Arnold Palmer. As Arnold Palmer. I love it. It's my go-to. I don't have a drink until 9 o'clock. That's my rule of thumb. I have a a few rules. I cannot... (laughs) Take us us through the rules. As a civilized man, I cannot have a sip of alcohol before 9 p.m. When the sun goes down, when the neon lights go on, that's when this guy comes alive. Just... (laughs) What? Okay. Yeah. Here huh? it is. Ding, ding, yeah. ding, 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 but then you also don't stop. You also don't stop. I don't stop. Were you, were you just uh, masturbating a bunch of uh, <laughs> uh, slot machines? I'm not sure what was just happening. Yeah, it was called the Happy Walrus. For our, for, for our viewers at home that can't see us, you can only hear us. Yeah. Imagine it. Um, the the thing that I have known about you is that you don't stop drinking until sunlight again, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'm like the vampire of whiskey. A couple things I, I notice about you when we're out and about. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of them. Okay. You are a curator of a fun time. Well, well look, we're, we're two people in the mirror going like this, this is right very now. True. Okay. This is very true. We yeah. have very different approaches. Extremely different approaches, okay. but same results. Hmm. That's a great name for the podcast. <laughs> uh, we do have extremely different approaches, Yeah. but the same results. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my approach. Yeah. Well, let's talk about each other's approaches. The impetus is fun. Right. That's the driving force. For you, I love that you always make sure that everyone feels comfortable with a beverage in their hand. Yes. And it doesn't true. also mean it has to be an alcoholic one. They just you want people to feel like they, they have a, a beverage and they're part of the part of the party. Yes. That I'm is, not as excited to go to the bar and deliver the news to the bartender. Could I get a, a Sprite? <laughs> Just here, just just a sprite. Yeah. Don't forget the fruit. Yeah. Need a little bit of lime in it. Yeah, you can charge me for a, a mixed cocktail, but I'll, I'll take a sprite for you know, over here. Yeah, but I, I absolutely yeah. I give people permission to be an ass of themselves by being the biggest ass in the place. Well, yeah, right. If there's a song you like, <laughs> <That's> all- <laughs> bye bye, bye bye. Yeah, Joe's left for Fun Town. And we're all on board. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I think... You do the scoot dance. I do. You love the scoot dance. Well, it's the church lady, right? It's like a better version of the church lady, yep. Dana Carvey. You do the scoot dance. Uh, how soon until the shirt comes off into a song you like? Just curious. Well, it depends what my energy level's at. <laughs> well, I, I, it's rare I've seen your energy level low. Yeah, I don't think it's ever been. <laughs> but I will, I will say that I do like to... I'm comfortable in my own body, and a couple of my very good friends always say, I'm more comfortable with my body than I should be or have a right to. <laughs> and I do, I get hot. You know, this this engine, this engine, this is steam engine. It runs hot, Steve. You got to cool it down. Yeah. So I have to, I sweat a lot. 
So I have to like <laughs> peel the layers. You're painting a good picture. Yeah, I, have to pe- I have to peel the layers. I'm not afraid to take my shirt off, but it also normally depends on how hot I'm running. If I'm running really hot, right. it'll come off way quicker. Would you, was there ever a moment in time where you were super in shape? Round is a shape, Steve, and I'll stand by that. <laughs> I'll stand by that. Uh, so I would say now. I would say now. I'm half of a perfect 10. <laughs> I'm a zero of the perfect. I'll be the one. That's it. We're perfect 10. That's another perfect great 10. name. Another go. great name for yeah. the podcast. It's all coming together. We've had, this is our third one. We don't know what we're going to order to release this in, but let's peek behind the curtain for the people. Yeah, yeah. This is the third one we've batch recorded, and we've come up with more <laughs> names in the first five in minutes. this one, yeah. Perfect 10 is pretty funny. Perfect 10. Um, <laughs> um, but I, yes, I, I, I will say I've never been in shape. I did dabble with gym work Yeah, a couple times in my life. You had a gym now. membership. I did. How long did that last? I had it when I lived in L.A. That's and I signed it, up right? for the free month. <laughs> you didn't make it. I didn't make, I didn't you, make a free month. How many? <laughs> so then I just started jogging around the park. Let me, let me rephrase that. How many days did you go? Four. <laughs> you went four days? <laughs> Not in a row either. <laughs> You go like one a Four week days. or like it was an LA fitness. It was on sunset. Okay. And I went four days. It was, I think it was a Monday. I started strong on a Monday. Yeah. I did Tuesday. Then I felt like, Oh, I can't even do anything anymore. So I did when I skipped Wednesday cause I couldn't, yeah. I wasn't doing anything right either. I went Thursday. I remember I went Thursday specifically. Right. And then the last day I think I tried, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll go on the weekends. It won't be as packed. And I went on a Sunday and then I was done. What was it in you that on Sunday you just – was it – Sunday did you leave going, I'm done, or did you wake up Monday going, we're good? No, I think I left Sunday knowing that the doors have closed on that chapter of my life, and I was prepared, <laughs> I was prepared to move on. As is. Thank you. I, yeah. yeah, so I – but then I started jogging Okay. around the track that was by the house I was staying at. There was a – park that had a, a little track it wasn't even a track it was a dirt path that went in a circle i made it feel like it was a track <laughs> so i ran around that right and i did that a couple times and then that was my la experience with working out that was it that was it wow okay <clears throat> then i came, never runyon canyon or any of that no, trendy no. kind of healthy stuff i filmed a short film on runyon Can- canyon yeah and i almost died climbing to where we were going to shoot was it. was the short film called four days at la <laughs> fitness <laughs> A documentary. Yeah, a documentary, if you will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be a pretty good documentary, me trying to get in shape. But I, I, I then, fast mm-hmm. forward, I'm back in New York. I was like, I got to get in shape again. I have kids. I want to live longer. Yep. So my brother-in-law, Vinny, who is a personal trainer and, and great at his job. You have someone related to you named Vinny? Yeah. <laughs> this shocking, shocking, right? Yeah. yeah. So I... <laughs> Unbelievable! Yeah, I know. What are the, My what sister are married a Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> so his actually, you know, it's very funny. Vinny Sullivan. Okay, my head's gonna. And explode. he has a son, Vinny. That's like when Vinny you meet Sullivan an... and Sons. Really? Yeah. Wow. He has two sons. That's like when you meet an Asian. His name's like Edward. <laughs> Edward Smith. You're like, what? It's like, is your dad Woody Allen? Like, I, what? One of the worst questions you could ask an Asian. Yeah. Is that your real name? <laughs> right? Tell me it's not true because people ask that all the time. I see that. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. mom used to do that. Yeah. She used to, what's your real name? She, yeah. You know, we would go to an Asian restaurant, we'd go get some Chinese food, and the woman would walk up and it would be like, Marissa, her mm-hmm. name tag. And she's, she's like, oh, is, is, that your real, <laughs> is that your real name? And I'm like, mom. <laughs> but it is true. When yeah. my mom worked <clears throat> on an army base in Seoul, uh, her name was Candy. <laughs> Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> Start the, gentlemen, welcome to the main stage. It's like my mom's coming out on a moped, like, we love you long time. It's like, oh, fuck. I didn't but say, well, I know what's, all- I know what's, I know what's going on in anybody's, it's not you, it's them. For the it's record, them. don't it's blame them. our it's listeners. Them. You, you made those jokes, Steve. <laughs> um, well, I think what's your real name is another good name for a podcast. What's your real name? What's your real name? Because we don't know the name of this. What's the real name of this thing? Or it's pronounced Gatto. <laughs> Yes, they, we could do That's that. That's how you do it. We could it's do pronounced. That. It's pronounced Gatto. But, but then people, spell will, it and people spell go, well, it. how do you? Yeah. Because I'm reading it. Gets Gato. What did you say? Gato. Gato. Ga- Gato. That's how I would say. G-O-T. Gato. G-O-T. If I say Vaz, I say Aunt. We've been through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to rehash. We've moved on from it, Steve Byron. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that is that your real name? <laughs> That's what, yeah. <laughs> Steve Byrne. That's your real name. It's not a stage name. It's not. <laughs> No, it's uh, it's Candy Williams. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have a Carmine in the family? 
I do not have a Carmine. We skipped a Carmine. I'm big in the Vinny, Rocco? Jo- Vinny Joey Mikey. We got a Rocco in Vinny there? Vinny Joseph Mikey's. Not a weird perverted neighbor named Rocco growing up. Okay. I didn't have a... There's always a six degrees of separation of Rocco. a Rocco My or son Carmine. was almost a Rocco. Really? Yes. So my son's name... <laughs> I don't even know if I want to tell you this, but my son's name was going to be Ace. Really? Ace Gatto. We were settled on it. We loved it. I was like, Ace is great. That's a pretty sweet That's name. It's a pretty cool name. I yeah. love that. I was like, I think it's really cool. And then we met him, and he came out of the womb, and he was this fat little... He looked like a Vito or a Gino, and I was like, I yeah, can't name my... Yeah, he's a baby, Joe. <laughs> what do you think? He's going to come out shredded like a six-pack and look at go, this is, what, this is what a fucking man looks like, not a pussy that does four days at LA Fitness, you bitch. What? Hey, he didn't know that about the days. <laughs> now, now he's going to know. He knows everything. Know. Hey, yeah, the you're right. DNA is it's given. It's in there. It's in there. The memory yeah, stream. Uh, so was he more plump than what you would assume Not more plump, would but be? he looked like he was going to... He was a big baby, and I feel like he was, he was like a big kid, and he is bigger. He's a bigger yeah. kid now. He's four years old, so I'm glad. He he didn't feel like an ace. Oh, he aged? Yes, he aged. He too. grew up and he, he it's can like walk the, now. It's a reverse Benjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also just a regular way to grow up. <laughs> My son suffers from a reverse Benjamin Button. Dude, can you imagine going into a pitch meeting and delivering that line and just seeing them going, wait, like, you mean like a normal person? <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. It's a reverse, reverse Benjamin, Benjamin Button. Button. Oh, oh, my oh my God. God. Oh, that's funny. That's so goddamn funny. That's the title of this, this episode. A reverse, reverse Benjamin, Benjamin Button. Oh, my God, dude. So he, oh. so when he came out, <laughs> I was so like. so fucking funny. Honestly, that's so goddamn funny. Oh, I never heard that before. In all my years at stand-up, you would have thought, somebody must have come up with that. And the minute you said it, I was dying laughing, I, and there's a part of me is the comic going, fuck, I wish I came up with that. It's so good. It's so good. You could use it, Steve. No, God damn it. That's, I that's might use it now. Joke. That's a funny joke. It's a funny joke. Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Thanks, pal. <laughs> he aged. He could walk. He's like a reverse picture. <laughs> he got older. <laughs> he just got wrinkles. Oh. Oh, oh God, that's so good, dude. So anyway, <laughs> reverse Benji. I couldn't make him. Oh. I couldn't. I, he looked more like like a a Vito or a Gino. And then, don't spit water all over the microphone. These I will, are rented. Yeah. Um, so a, a reverse Gino or or a, a reverse Gino. I call them. He's like, <laughs> he's oh no. <laughs> he's, he looked like a Gino or a Vito, and I was like, I can't name my son Gino Gatto. Sure, yeah. So I was like, oh, I, I like. How, what about Remo? I said to Bessie, and she was like, yeah, but what's a Remo short for? And we, you know, did the Google, and it's Remington, and that was one of the names we originally liked. Uh. Remington. I was like, oh, it just all fits. So he became Remo Gatto. My family busts my balls that he's not Joe Gatto Jr. because my dad was Joe Gatto. But would have my Trey. But he, my dad's dad wasn't a Joe. Right. And then I was like, I don't want to, you know, he, I don't want to do my that. My grandpa thing. was a Joe. Your grandpa was Joseph. a Joe. My middle name's Joseph. So you're Steve Stephen Candy Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Candy. <laughs> so you're Steve, <laughs> Steve Joseph Byrne. And is that, that's right. your real name? Stephen Joseph Byrne. Yeah. Stephen. Oh, would it be H or E? With a, with a v. Or v. Yeah. With a V, yeah. V, Stephen. Yeah. I knew that. Stephen Joseph Byrne. Hmm. Um, oh, here's a shocker, Joseph Anthony Gatto. That's a that's a solid as expected name. Well, I also gave my son versatility. I lost Remington a, is a pretty sweet name though. Remington, he could go by Remington. Mm-hmm. He could go by RJ if he plays lacrosse because ah, his middle name is Joseph. Got it. Or he could go by Remo if he does debt collection in <laughs> in the tough streets <laughs> of, of Brooklyn. You got flat screen you know, <laughs> the truck. I know a guy. I, I know a guy. I got, call Remo. He, that's he's got he's got versatility. I think like. Most likely, he's going to end up using his body for his, his work. <laughs> I had to put money on it now. He's going to throw some weight around. Yeah, he's going to yeah. throw some weight around. That's yeah. so cool. <clears throat> you, already at four, you can tell? I think so, yeah. I think so. Because I think he's going to have to. Like, Milana tells me she wants to be... She, she Now she's six years old, so she tells me things she wants to be, mm-hmm. which is very funny. She's like, I want to be a singer or I want to be a dog groomer. And those are like our two passions right now. Yeah. And I was like, I feel like she's going to like... This is definitely not an Asian household. That's- I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> no! No! Again! <laughs> you play the violin, right? Uh, every Asian has had a <laughs> stint. Has had their dalliance with a, with a violin, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, yeah, I, I, I got really pissed off the other day about my daughter. We were giving her piano lessons, mm-hmm. and she said she wanted to play drums. And the guy was like, okay, go play drums. And she played drums for a half hour. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but... Oh, see now that's an interesting that's an interesting take because that was Bessie's take. Yeah, my take is 
I'm paying for piano lessons. You don't let the six year old decide what she's going to play. Right, because but we're she trying to gravitates towards something, and she's somewhat passionate about it. It's like why passionate, not? or she wanted to make noise by banging something at six <laughs> years old. <laughs> well, I, I, yeah, I know what you mean, but piano, from everything I've heard from professional musicians or anybody that that, that if you can play piano, you can play any instrument. That's right, what they say right. That's exactly and right. there's uh, there's elements of math involved in learning the piano in learning the piano as well. So it's it's very good for a child's development, et cetera, et cetera, to learn piano. So I agree with you. I understand what you're saying, but was she somewhat proficient with it? Or I wasn't there, and I can imagine no, because I think she was just hitting hitting them. Yeah, but she's six. But oh, so now your take is that she should follow where I should let the music lead her. I, I think so. But then again, it, it, it just, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. You don't want to give them too much. Yeah. Like, like look, I, I see my son. There's a bunch of boys in the neighborhood. They all play football, right? So I sit there going, should I tell my son to get up and go play football instead of picking grass blades? And then I'm just, I'm just thinking, well, let's get him a clarinet. Hmm. I mean, that's what's going to happen. This kid's, uh, this kid, he's probably a bander. <laughs> A he's bander. A, he's a bander. He's a bander. He's not going to catch the, the the touchdown for the homecoming game. Yeah. He's going to be out there with white dress shoes and a fucking top hat and a feather going. They they all always play. Uh, Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> also, a song I take my shirt off to every time it comes on. <laughs> I could. Well, now when I if you hear that song, you you think this is my intro music. Yeah. This is my I Jock have to do it. Forget it. I lived and died oh by Jock James. God. Volume God, four. Yeah. Jock Jam's volume four was my was my Holy shiznit. Shit, you brought you brought out you went down to the basement yeah. and you found a fine wine. And I just whispered up I whispered up the stairs. I said, Steve, you ready for this? Dan 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 dan. That's what I did. Jock jams. I have And then we all found out he fiddled little boys and you're like, can't listen to that song anymore. No. Jock jams, holy shit! Jock jams. I used to rock out with jock jams all the time. I used to love me some jock jams. Here's the kind of geek I was. I used to make mix. <laughs> I used to make mixtapes. I start laughing at things I'm going to say because I know your reaction. <laughs> this is my favorite part of this podcast. Okay. I used to make mixtapes yeah. with a cassette player. I had a two cassette player, and I used to stop and and I had a microphone. I'd be able to intro and talk over oh. a tape. And you would I make introductions. For I, your I would own. make introductions for my family reunion volleyball team that used to come out on the New York versus New Jersey game. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to be jock jams, like you all ready for this? Da, 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 da. And I would come out and be like, and I would introduce the people, and I'd be like, wow. you know him as uh, you, oh, he's, he's awesome, Big man. Vin, and blah, blah blah. And they would say all this stuff, and I would yeah. like, and they would eating it up, right? But the whole family used to have to sit there and watch, <laughs> wait for every like twelve cousins to get. <laughs> well, well, I'm in the right. lab. <laughs> We're not ready to start. We're not ready. But Vinny's got the sunblock so, going. The sun's going. Not. not I'm not in the ready. lab. I'm in the lab. This is a work of art. And then they brought it out. Did they go nuts? Everyone went nuts. That sounds like something really fun. It was fun. And the then, so Jock Jams, that's, I'll always think of that when I think of Jock Jams. Well, the song you referenced earlier, that na 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 every time I hear that song, every time, this is what happened. When that song came out, it was popular, like, what, early 90s, right? Mm -hmm. My... Buddy Jason Dallas worked at SeaWorld. Now, he is a guy that doesn't drink. He's a total Clark Kent, just a good dude. And he worked at SeaWorld, and he was in guest relations because he's just really amiable and fun. And I had heard from some of my friends, like, you got to see this. I'm like, what? Because he, he's like a good slash bad dancer. You know what I mean? Like, he's got, like, these weird, yeah. like, yeah. moves. And, yeah. like, girls are like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, it's fucking horrible. It's bad. Like, am I the only one that sees this? It's, it's, like, really bad. But he is so, like, into it, and he loves dancing. So my buddy, Ryan Dalton, he's like, you got to fucking see this. I go, what? He goes, I'm not going to tell you anything. Just come. I go, okay. Mm -hmm. So SeaWorld, it's a small crew, right? What they did was <laughs> Ryan Dalton brings me to the Shamu show. And it's, like, at night. The lights go down. And he's like, are you ready? I'm like, what? And then all of a sudden, here, the beginning of that song goes, do, 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 do. And the spotlight, as, as it goes, the spotlight comes down. Jason Dallas is standing 
at the foot of the Shamu show in a wetsuit like this. And they go, na 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 and he's pumping the crowd up and they go, and then the break goes, y'all ready for this? And when he goes, Y'all ready for this, he points at the audience, because he would he would do his shit and then he'd go like this. And he pointed at the audience. They go, yeah. And then it goes, na 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 na. And he started doing the side thing like this. <laughs> now the thing that fucking made me laugh so goddamn hard was they they had a flat screen up on top and a camera. And this is like late <laughs> late nineties pyrotechnics. Yeah. They, they they put in. So he's doing this shit right, <laughs> and you're seeing like flames burst out. I have never laughed so hard wow. in my goddamn life. I bowled over. I was crying. And it was one of those things. If I open my eyes, I may die. Like my body, <laughs> I cannot take it anymore. I was crying. I was laughing so hard. But it was just these fucking moves. And he goes, yeah. stop. He stops himself. Uh, and then he points. Yep. And then the beat drops. Nah, 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 yep. nah. And this other time we were in Vegas. And my buddy P. Giovine knows the owner of Tao. Yep. So we go to Tao. We get, we're in the owner's booth. The DJ's playing. Everybody's dancing. And it's, it's music I hate, mm -hmm. like electronic dance yep. music. And it's the shit he loves. So this is Dallas's, like, he, he's in heaven, okay? I see him dancing. He's standing up on the fucking booth dancing. I'm like, oh, my God, this is so fucking embarrassing. This is just, Jesus Christ. I look over. I'm like, is that Jerry Rice? I was like, oh, guys, is that fucking Jerry Rice? Jerry Rice is next to us in the booth. So Jerry Rice is just hanging out. There's all these girls around him, a handful of dudes, whatever. Next thing I know, I'm, I'm knee deep in the whiskey. Yep. I look up behind, there's like a platform behind all the booths. Jason Dallas is doing, doing his, his thing. fucking thing. Yep. And who is next to him in sync Mr. Jerry watching Rice. him doing this shit? No way. And they're both like, doing like moves that Dallas is doing and I fucking <laughs> once again collapse mind explodes collapse that's crying laughing it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life that's unbelievable I, I always had a thing where you don't have I've said this multiple times to my friends because they were always amazed at the confidence that I had on the dance floor that I was shouldn't have had and also that my ability to just get out there and start I'd always be the first one on the dance floor I wouldn't care yeah and our friend Sal, one time he went to me, I was in full sweat, Donnie Levin, and he, I just see him like looking at me in like an amazement about how stupid I'm being. And I just saunter over to him and I do my thing. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I said, you don't have to be good at dancing, you just have to be fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and I kissed him on the cheek and I backed away and he crumbled. That's one of my favorite memories, actually. And I used to just, he used to guest bartend at the spot on the Upper East Side. This is back in the day. And I used to go. Yeah. And eventually, like, people would be like, is your friend Joe coming? Because <laughs> like, they knew. And nobody would be dancing. Because it wasn't really party like, here. It wasn't really like a big dance floor or even a dance floor in, in yeah. essence. But I would make, you know, if there's a floor, You'd make you're dancing. Fun. It's a dance floor. So I would just start it up no matter where we were. Well, there's two types of guys that are, that are going to get laid on a dance floor. It's the guy that's really good. And then it's... Mm. That guy. It's the guy that's having fun because girls gravitate towards that. And when, when we were in college or whatever, we were all horrible. Like, none of us could dance. But we would show up in Hawaiian shirts yeah. and request, like, Jackson 5 and go crazy and I got it. for shout. If you know when the music stops and you're able to pause on it and just give a look out, that's one of my favorite things Oh, you ever. mean like at SeaWorld at a Shamu yeah, uh, show? Exactly. Like so it. your pyrotechnics on screen already? Jason, Jason Dallas? Jason Dallas, yeah. Unbelievable. Love him. Love him. I love what he's done. I Yo, appreciate it. <laughs> it's so bad. The best, oh. best, best music breaks. Ready? Yeah. Stop. Hammer time. Probably the best ever when you're dancing and you could hit that stop. Hammer time. Every time they see me. You know, <laughs> that is like one of the best. You can't touch this has, has that too, can't right? Can't touch this. Yes. Yeah. Can't touch this. Yes. Then so go back into it. If you could stop on the dime, it's fantastic. Now I'll tell you who could f that really hard. When you have a whole thing set up, you have the you've pushed the first domino and they're all falling and everything's coming into place. You know who could really fuck you? A wedding DJ. 
a uh, wedding DJ, yeah, and yeah. you're ready. You're ready to do the big spin or the split yeah. or whatever the fuck you got in your pocket. They mesh right into the and next they come right into oh, next super mix. You know, the super mix. Next, you know, it's fun. all of a sudden you're on the Venga bus, and I yeah. didn't. I didn't punch a ticket. Yeah, you know, you're like da, 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 da. <laughs> right, like you. a little bit of Monica. <laughs> no, we were just no. what the fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, when the build ups get messed with, that's really where I, where I get upset. Yeah, a wedding DJ would see you, and it's like. Fuck yeah. face, I pull the strings here. <laughs> Next jam. It's just like, hey, what the fuck, man? I'm no no no, I'm in charge here. <laughs> so funny, man. Don't you mess don't you mess with my flow on the dance floor. <laughs> What's another one where the bass Oh, I love uh what, what, what's the one with the Put your uh, hand, hands up in the air and they stay there oh, and they yeah. stay there. That one. So uh, yeah. put your hands up and, they, and yeah. they stay there and they sit <laughs> the hands up. And when the club freezes with their hands up, is yeah. so great. That's a song even my 75 year old mother would know. Yes. You would hear that song and then she'd, she'd just look at you and go. <laughs> <laughs> Although one of them might get stuck these days. But here, 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 here. I mean, if there's a couple songs that come on, forget it. It's like, Yeah by Usher. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like that uh, one? Usher? That song. It's a go to for it's you? It's a go to. Okay. It's a go to. It's like, you know, but the Mo- Motown Philly, oh, when it comes back I again. I love Boys to Men. Forget it. Boys to, Motown Philly, even more than Poison for me, is Motown Philly. Here's my favorite part of the Poison video. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Be careful. We'll at the end. <laughs> Remember, they go on the lift at the very end? <laughs> <laughs> There's this lift at the end of the song, and Michael Bivens is there, and they're all on the lift. And, go, and I think it was DeVoe goes, <laughs> and then they put out a frame. <laughs> I love that you're doing a disappearing trick, but you're not doing it to the camera. You're doing it to me, and I can see you kneeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> So true. Oh, that it's video so is true. so funny. And then I think about like, because my daughter's singing songs now. Mm. We're driving. She loves to sing along, and she's singing "Watermelon Sugar High." Uh. And I remember, I'm like, oh god, now that I know what that song's about, I'm hearing my daughter sing about, um, Cunnilingus. Yeah. And I'm like, oh god, she's nine. Well, she you said you just sing "Pour Some Sugar on Me." Pour some sugar on me. Do me? Yeah. <laughs> Do me, Do baby. Me? Oh. Yeah, it even has sex sounds in it. In it. We would drive to church. Yeah. We would drive to <laughs> church on Sundays. Casey Kasem's Top 20 Countdown would be on the air. Rest and in peace, Casey. Do me would be playing, and I'm like, oh, do yeah. me, baby, uh, wrap it up, smick yeah. it, rub, rub it down. down. Oh, no, no. I need a body bag. <laughs> and my mom's must be in the front like, well, A, she probably has no idea what that song's right, about. Right, right. Thank God. But my dad's probably like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, also, uh, uh, jump on it. Let's do it. Ride it. My pony. <laughs> right? Well, I'm singing that with my sisters. I'm legit singing that. To, I'm serenading that to my sisters in the back seat of the car. Bam, bam, bam. Right? I'm, my sister. I'm 12 years old singing that to my sister. Thinking, what the fuck is going on? That so is lame. one of the funniest <sighs> slash, I guess, horniest songs I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. That song, just that that bass groove <laughs> that kicks in, it fucking makes me laugh so goddamn hard. <laughs> what's the song? What's the song where he talks? He's just singing about getting a boner. Just getting a boner? Yeah. It's uh. What's the song where he's just singing about getting a boner? It's the. Uh, I must have missed that one. No. <laughs> I don't know about that one, buddy. Are you making these up? No. Okay. It's called uh, I Got a Boner. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very famous one. It's like Pony. It's like... Uh, yeah. <sighs> Shit. I'll, I'll, I'll edit in right now the name of it. Okay. So, But, but uh, Yeah by Usher is like a go-to. Go-to, yeah. What is... What Dirty is... by Christina Aguilera. It's another Dirty? one. Oh, my God. Dirty, Are another you, one by Christina Aguilera. You're like a 40-year-old divorce woman. Like... <laughs> Love it. Just came back from a wine mixer. Uh, I mean, the Venga bus for a good time. I like to do some laps with a fist bump. If I have to, if I have to put it out there, I got to make sure I stretch. (laughs) I get a little traffic noises in it too. (laughs) (laughs) I do a big march. That's one of my big moves on the dance floor. I do a big step (laughs) march. That you've seen it. You know it. You know the big. I go in circles and we like (laughs) this. 
<laughs> and then we like to party as, as punches. We like to party. And I'll punch it over people. That's my go-to. Forget it. I'll start it anywhere. I don't care where I'm at. Funerals, <laughs> a wedding, anything. January 6th at the Capitol. It doesn't matter. I'm yeah. there. And they, we're doing it. The insurrection. I don't give That's a right. shit. Yeah. Uh, but I, I could see right said Fred. I'm too sexy. That's that's got to be yeah. a top three for you. That's that's fun. Because I only I really love the catwalk part. I like to be on the catwalk. <laughs> the other parts I don't really know what to do. I love to be on the catwalk. <laughs> Where'd you go? Wait, wait, wait. I, I I love I love a catwalk. What would the world be like if I was just a world famous model? And so like like imagine the joke out of you know right and love. I'll put it in words in your mouth. I don't care. And I am like the face of like Hugo Boss. Is that how you say it? Hugo? Is it Hugo? That's how I said it for a comedic purpose. Because oh. <laughs> I have no idea how to say any of those things because I've never. Well, I'm pretty sure it's Hugo Boss. Any of those? Yeah. Is it? Because I hear different things on Ralph Lauren or it's Ralph Lauren. Right. Yves Saint Laurent. I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> that's, I think that's wrong. Yeah. But if I was the face of Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> He's like, hello, uh, Steve. Thank you for coming to the big meeting. We have on the new face of Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> it's Joe Gatto. Now, what's what's the better choice? Is it that I look exactly like this, or I'm a shredded, ripped model? I would say is Antonio Sabato Jr. sick? Like, <laughs> did he did he have a botched surgery? Like, what happened here? Do we wait? What is the budget on the modeling this year? Are Can we, I give somebody ten bucks? To, <laughs> do we go from sugar to office pool? <laughs> Pass the plate around, folks. We got a new campaign. Is this potluck? Uh, potluck modeling? Uh, I would be uh, happy for you. Mm. I don't know that you would move much. I think the Mer first quarter we're really <laughs> suffering and recalibrating. It's going to be a hell of a clearance These decisions. It's going to yeah. be a hell of a clearance there's, year. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a clearance rack. Um, if, you could, <laughs> if you could be the spokesperson for one... one uh, corporation that you're passionate about what would it be oh, that's a great question that's a great question Steve. well thank you that's yeah does it have to be clothing it could be anything it's just something you're passionate about i would probably have to i mean it would have to probably be food related and it would be around the, same yeah i mean i really love uh, uh it's tough you know, when you do those things, when you get really in your head and I'm making a bigger, a bigger deal than I have to. Like, if it's clothing, I love the yeah. brand Penguin. Penguin brand, it just fits my body correctly. Really? Love Penguin, always loved Penguin. I met them when I was uh, working at Nordstrom. I love Nordstrom. What do you mean you met, you met Penguin? I met the Nordstrom. brand. The yeah. brand. I, where this we, where we sold them. I, met, yeah. I officially met them. I got okay. into that. So I would say that. Um, oh, I know what brand of clothing I would do. I would do Joe's Jeans. What is it? Joe's Jeans. Joe's J -O -E. Jeans. Joe, well, they're a Joe. Joe's is the brand. I've never heard of this. They are phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, uh, their clothing just fits nice. They make a good. We just look at the denim. camera and wink right make, now. I mean, Jesus Christ. They make a great, great denim, a great denim product. Mm -hmm. uh, you could get them. Uh, listen, if I'm going to show you straight, I'm buying them at Nordstrom Rack. I'm not buying them at Nordstrom. You know, I'm, okay. getting, I'm getting them down. I'm getting them on a third tier down. <laughs> I'm getting them after okay. clearance at yeah. Nordstrom Rack. But. Do you have a good waist size that, that no, there's plenty of I'm a, I'm a weird I'm a weird waist. I'm officially, like, I'm a 35, which doesn't really exist. It goes 34, 36. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I either have to be too tight or they're too big and full. Really? Off. They don't make 35s? They don't. Not, not many brands hmm. do. Lucky brand? I'm sure they do. Lucky brand might, but don't talk to me about Lucky. What, you, you, what, what's, what do you have against I won't lucky? talk to you about it. Okay. I just okay. clearly, I just. Something <laughs> happened. You see Jason Dallas dancing in a Lucky? Um, <laughs> so Penguin is your go-to, though. Penguin is one of my go-to clothing brands. Penguin and, and Joe, Joe, I love Joe's. I've never even heard of Joe's jeans. I gotta get you in a pair of Joe's jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go shopping. I'm gonna put you in a pair of Joe's jeans. I'll tell you, I've changed I've many of people's lives. I've never heard in of Joe's it. jeans. I put Murray in a pair of Joe's jeans. Where do you get them? I've never. I don't even know where you, you get, can get them. You get them at, at, at a Joe's store. Big they lots. have their own stores. <laughs> you get them at Costco. Marshalls? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Costco. <laughs> no, you can get them at Nordstrom, Nordstrom, right? You know, Bloomies, all the department stores have them. Okay. But you get them on clearance, When's like I just said. When's the last time you've been to a department store? When's the last time you've been to a Penny's, <clears throat> a Macy's, a Sears? Sears doesn't exist anymore, right? There's one left in America, I thought. One of my favorite jokes, I don't know who did this. It's such a favorite joke, and a friend just reminded me of this. And he talked about, do you remember back in the day, you'd have to get a Sears catalog mm. to masturbate? <laughs> And now we have the internet. So you could just go to Sears.com. You could just masturbate. The <laughs> it's funny. It's such a dumb funny. joke, but it's so good. 
But when's the last time you were in a proper department store? I used probably, well, I mean, COVID, of course, like a year. No, the sure, past year yeah. was, didn't really happen. But before that, I would say I probably go every six months. Because when six, we're on yeah. the road, I like I love hitting up a mall. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't really hit a pennies as much as I used to. But I used to, you know, I used to love pennies. The holiday shopping at Pennies. I used to love this shit that they put in the middle of the rows. Like the aisles used to just have All those the big walkways. Christmassy I love stuff. the tchotchke Christmassy yeah. stock and stuff for stuff like stuff for dad or these days or you know the weird electronic things. I used the to tree love the tree or the the elves would go down 100%. that slide and then they go back. Yes, up. Yeah. I love that the penguin thing with the ding 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 ding. I love that. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Macy's was the spot, though, back in the day. Oh, Macy's is that a was, sh- was a shit show, though. Because they had polo. Yeah, they had, this, they had, they had the brands. Ralph Lauren, they the had Staten the- Island Macy's, the Staten Island Mall Macy's was not a place for anybody. You seem like a chess king kind of guy. I used to be. Yeah. Bang Bang sense. was my spot. <laughs> bang <laughs> Bang was in the, in the mall. I told you about Bang Bang. But I I really wasn't a cloth- clothing person at all. I really didn't get into men's fashion until I worked at Nordstrom. Like, I was well, how did you a dress good pair of denim. To- how did you dress in college? <clears throat> not well. Not well. I Jeans and a hoodie. Yeah. Not even like a, a zip-on hoodie, like a, a hooded sweatshirt or like a T-shirt. That you get for free for sign up for a credit card, I, something yep. like that. Yeah. Exactly. When I went out, went out, in, mm-hmm. in that would be the only time I dressed up. And then I got a girlfriend in college, and that helped a lot. You know what I did? <clears throat> I would work in a mall. Like I work at Gap, I'd work at American Eagle, I'd get the discount because you yeah. get fifty percent off. I worked there for like three weeks. I blow my money in some clothes that I thought would get me laid, and then I bounced. Really? I had so many jobs in college. <laughs> so many jobs. It'd be like, Oh, it's a party on Friday, we're all gonna go. It's like, Well, I'll just quit. <laughs> and I would quit. And there was a point where I worked I could go downtown Kent in Kent State, Ohio, and go, I worked at the Puffer Belly. I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings. I worked at Ray's. I worked at Video 101. Video 101 was a video rental store that you could call up, ask if they had it, and then if we had it, I would drive it to you. I'd deliver it to you. Really? Like a pizza place. Oh, yeah. wow. And you know who ordered the most porn? Girls. No way. Girls, uh, girls ordered the porn, and they have, like, drinking parties or whatever. Uh. So I always had this fascination or, like, dream of, like, one day... I'm going to deliver the porn, and they're going to go, get in here, tiger. Really? And never happened? Never. No. No, they were shutting the door on the tiger. <laughs> I looked. <laughs> it just... Wait, so it had porn, the store? Mm-hmm. And did you have yeah, to the ask? the beaded curtain thing with the sign. <clears throat> but was it all porn? Over eight... No, no, no. It was not all porn. Oh, gotcha. No, you, so you got your... It was like a blockbuster, but with porn. Exactly. So yeah. did you have to ask for ID when you delivered the porn? No. No, I mean, usually yeah, I deliver to dorms or sorority girls and stuff. Yeah. Life was different back then. Yeah, it was, you mean fun? <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this, that's yeah. a pretty good, that's a pretty good concept. And I, it's like pre-Netflix. It's like. That's right. Yeah, yeah. it was. It, it was pretty it's cool. It's local Netflix. They did Video 101, then they did Laundry 101. Laundry? And I worked there for a minute, but it was a laundromat um, that had a bar in it. So it was one of those that things. That is so smart. Yeah. That place had to crush. It did well. I don't think it did great, but it did well. You know what place is crushed now is the places that have arcade games. What, a laundromat with arcade games? <laughs> or you mean, oh, a the bar. throwback? A bar with an arcade Sorry. games. <laughs> Sorry, that didn't track for you. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, uh, I'm yeah, no, I, I mean, I, the, all those barcades. Yeah, yeah, I love those. Yeah. Um, I, I was taking one recently, and it's, it's fun, again, to, like, get a fistful of quarters yep. and play the games we played when we were, like, um, oh, God, Tapper? Loved Tapper. Used to love Tapper. Love Tapper. Tapper was great. You know what was you know, the bane of my existence was Dragon's Lair. Oh, the animated it one. It was basically a playable cartoon. Yeah. And I always died on the same part with the drawbridge, and I could never get past it. And then one time, I remember I got past it, and I died at the very next step. So I basically uh, just got the drawbridge first one. Never, never saw it at all. Uh, I, to this day, I've never seen the full Dragon's Lair. I bet you that's online, right? I could find that. I'm sure it is. I need yeah. to. I need to find but that. the animation in that back in the day that was like such cutting edge. You're like, Amazing. what is this? Amazing. But that was the thing: a quarter to put in, and I, I don't think you could ever get past like a minute or two minutes. Like Donkey Kong, no, never got past the yeah. second board. Never. never. Miss Pac Man, forget it. Why even bother? Just put the quarter and just walk away. Yeah, you make it to the pretzel board and you feel like you're a champion, and you can walk away with your head <laughs> held high. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I had two cherries. Yeah, <laughs> I should be happy with myself. <laughs> But that was the that was the that was the thing I think, especially when you grow up on the East Coast. Back in the day, if, if you were a young kid in the '80s, 
And even when I visited my cousins in the 90s, it was always, let's go to the pizza shop, let's play some video games, you place your order, get a fistful of quarters, go back, play some games, pizza's done, by the time you're done, it was the fucking greatest. And that red, rippled cup that every pizzeria had, yes. chock full of ice, Said Coca-Cola on oh, it. Oh, God, it just... Best. Now, it, it, your cube choice, is it a crushed or is it a cube? Because the crushed I, was, I never got on board with, and I felt like a lot of pizzerias did that. Yeah. And I wonder why. Do you get more ice per capita? No. <laughs> it's got to be the same amount of ice, yeah. right? I never really thought about that. You know what I like now? Well, you don't drink, but but you'll go to certain bars. Fancy, fancy ice balls. It doesn't mean I can't ice appreciate balls, them. Yeah. The ice balls are phenomenal. Yeah. I just want to look at them and suck on those ice balls. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> They're so good. No, I love like the ones. But do you see the ones that they sell like the specialty shapes? Like I saw one once that was shaped like a spade, like Ace of Spades, like a spade. Oh, really? card. It was super cool. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah. I guess you could freeze ice into anything. Any yeah. That's yeah. what. That's the beauty of ice, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> really, it's really what what we love about it. I think every guy's dream. <clears throat> every guy has two dreams. Every guy wants to walk past an alley and see hear a girl screaming. Six dudes are like, "Hey, what's going on?" Like it's the '80s and roughing her up. And then a guy comes and is like. What's up, guys? I'll tell you what's up. We got an up. issue here? Yeah. And then just ping, 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 ping. Mm -hmm. Goes like, oh my God, you're so fucking cool. It's like, yeah. And then you walk away. You don't even get her number. That's right. You're just being a man. And the other one is to pull off a heist with some of your best pals. That's the two dreams I think every guy can relate to. I don't disagree with you. I, I heard a comic here in New York City. I, 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 to, I, I swear to God, I wish I knew who it was because it's one of the funniest bits I've ever heard in a long time. And he was talking about how he doesn't trust women because listen to a woman tell a story. And he said, have you ever heard a girl make sound effects oh, in a story? I saw that on TikTok. Who is it? Uh, I think I favorited it. I think I can tell you. It is hysterical. He's here in New York. Yeah. He said, he said uh, women, uh, you need men because they're funny. Women yeah. aren't funny. They don't tell entertaining stories. They When's the last time you heard a woman oh make sound God. effects in a story? Yes. And again, it's like one of those things where as a comic, you think you've heard everything or every kind of variation, but like a reverse pinch <laughs> <Benjamin laughs> button, <laughs> like then somebody like that comes along and says that. You're like, oh yeah. my God, wow, that is such that a is great bit. really, really funny. I Truly know, I one, of the, one of my favorites where I heard it. I was like, oh God, how did I not think of that? It's <laughs> so good. The, and those are the best jokes. So do people like with your, with your fandom... The, the Steve Burners, did they <laughs> send you a bunch of pictures in the casual position? Do you get a lot of photos of that? Every now and then I do, yeah. People will send me things of, of people doing it or whatever, but I do love, you know, because I think at the beginning of social media, you just like, I just got to do something stupid. And some people bring action figures or toys yeah. with them or whatever. And I was just, because uh, it was one of my first bits on a Comedy Central special. I I made a t-shirt out of it. Do you remember that? You did, yeah. Did. And you wore it on an episode. Yes, and I, and I sent you, did I send you one? Didn't you, I, I you, made sent one me, you. you sent me the screen cap yep. and That's I was it. the hero for a day. <laughs> With my with my daughter, who at the time, it was one of the things where I was like, oh, yeah, I, let's watch this show together. Yeah. She enjoys it. And then what I love uh, is is my son watched the movie, and he loves the movie. And he this is this is so funny. <laughs> to me, it's, it's funny. He do, I, I go, who do you really like in the, in, the, in the show? And he's seen the movie probably like five or six times. Really? Which for a kid, you will retain so yeah, much. Right? He says, I like Murphy the best. <laughs> Yes. He's in my phone is Murph. <laughs> Murphy. Yeah, Murph. Murph. It's so funny. It's funny Murphy. Oh. <laughs> we yeah, I I your casual thing is thing I think I see so every time I see someone in that pose that has nothing to do with you, yeah. for me that is like that's the first thing I think of. Like, oh this guy must know Steve Burr, but he, somebody's just laying down. <laughs> no, somebody's just laying down. I know. Yeah. It's like, oh, he must he gets Well, it. I take pride in the fact that anytime somebody hears Wonderwall mm. or Mr. Brightside, they think of me. For sure. Because I'll get a text or they'll make a video of them in a bar singing it to me. Yeah. And it's like, wow, to be associated with fun and that song, it's pretty cool. You've revolutionized the UK with Mr. Brightside. Well, here's what, uh, here's what I learned after being over there with, with you is uh, I've gotten a, uh, especially quite a few DMs uh, after being over there with you. And people are like, did you know that that's played at every Irish wedding? I was like, no, I had no idea. No. And I guess at every wedding, I guess in Ireland, they, they, they make that a point. It's like our don't stop believing, right? It's, their, it. it's their venga bus. It's the <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, guilty pleasure song. What's one song you just hate to admit, but you secretly truly love? 
Um, I'd probably say Call Me Maybe. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. How can you not? I, right? I, I, I know, but there's people that don't. I mean, I would think Call Me Maybe for sure is a, is a big one for me. That's a really good one, yeah. Yeah. I'm still trying to think of the song where the guy gets erect. <laughs> I think you're making it up. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's it's super famous. Like the, the, everyone listening right now or watching is going to be so mad that I don't know the name of the song because it's literally and end at you. Somebody's screaming it at the screen. They right now. literally. Someone is yelling about the erection song right now. Oh, uh, you're beautiful by One Direction. Is that the song? I love that. You don't know. Yeah, you're beautiful. beautiful. How fast is saying to somebody else? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got an elf on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, oh, oh, oh. You, you don't, don't know you're beautiful. beautiful. Oh, yeah, oh, that's oh. great. I love that. That's a great song. I love that's that song. That's a song. great song. I love that. It's I a love... ripoff of a Grease song, though, isn't it, right? Dun, 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 Not a ripoff. They probably dun, just sample dun. it. Yeah, they probably did. Yeah. You're insecure. But we don't know what for. Oh. Something like that, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what another one for me is uh, Sucker by the Jonas Brothers. I'm a sucker for you. <laughs> you know? He says sucker weird. It's, he says it's... <laughs> I love the way you got in the zone. <laughs> he says, again, if you could slow-mo rewind and get you <clears throat> getting in the zone. I'm a sucker for you. He says sucker so weird. With the that's and the bars and the cars. Like he gets he told you and then the brother comes in, he's like, oh, I'm a sucker for you. He's a sucker. He says so weird, Nick. Oh. I love the Joe Bros. I love it. I actually I actively like the like the one D guys. I like the uh I, I like the Jonas Brothers. I am definitely like my taste in music is definitely like teen girl pop. It's like my thing. Wow. I love it. Excuse me? <laughs> I love it. Wow. You're like a music guy. No, I'm not like a music snob. You but are a little bit. No. Everybody's talking no. about it. <laughs> Everybody's, Everybody's talking about The word on the street. No. No, you're about no I wouldn't say you're a music snob. Uh, but like teen girly pop stuff, I... Look, I get it because I have a daughter, <laughs> that's so... A, that's a pass for me. Teen girly pop stuff. <laughs> that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, good, good. I'm sorry. Good. But having a kid, ha mm. having my kids, obviously, and then hearing them listen to One Direction... Even though that's, I guess they're older now. Yeah. I guess they're broken up or something. But uh, hearing her like gravitate towards the songs, you hear it all the time in the car. You're like, okay, yeah, this is fun. It's they like it. It's it's good. Kids bop. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about this before. Right? It Demonic. does. They change. They change the right words. Just. They change the right words. Oh. Though. They're not the same songs. Oh. Dynamite by BTS. Dynamite. By I, BTS. I get it. That's a, that's another butter. one for me. Food like butter, like <laughs> metal undercover. I'm telling you, if oh, I... Who just got in the zone there? <laughs> Hello, pot, kettle, like pleased to meet Ooh. you. <laughs> I yeah. like to talk, but the, the talk, the, the walk, the walk, the, right now. The, 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 the we don't need permission to dance. Na, 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 When you're ready, Jason Dallas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get a... I, I missed the boat. I missed the boat. You did. You could have been K-pop. Oh, I could have been K-pop. So good. Yeah. I would. I would. I would. I haven't parted my hair down the middle since eighth grade. <sighs> I would do that, and you could put pink highlights in my hair. I'd love it. I'd look like a figure skater, an Asian <laughs> figure skater. They all just some of the wardrobe they're wearing. It's like what the. I, but the songs for me don't make sense when I don't know if it's the translation or whatnot. It goes. Ding dong, pick up my phone. That's the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> like ding dong. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I said that he goes, quick kid. game of ping pong. And, you know, <laughs> and like, like it, it, you put them together. King Kong's in there too, right? If King you Kong? put the lyrics in, it should be. It's not. If you put the lyrics down and you, there's no story. There's nothing. They don't connect. Oh, no. They just. It's like LFO. Remember that oh, LFO song? Yes. What was that? Summer Girls. Yeah, Summer Girls. That's right. Yeah. Yes. That's not a good one. That song is just like, it's like words bouncing down the stairs mm -hmm. and they happen to rhyme. Uh, there's some really bad lyrics in that, but God, that song was catchy. Ding dong, pick up my phone. my phone. Call me on my phone. Ding dong, call me, call me on, on my, my phone. phone. Hell of a game of ping pong. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, BTS. Which one are you, BT or us? I don't know. <laughs> what does BTS stand for? Do you know? Um, There's somebody screaming it at the at, at the podcast again yeah, right exactly, now. Exactly. Yeah. They're yelling erection yeah. name songs and what BTS stands for. Yeah, I, I have no idea what BTS stands me neither. for. Yeah, I, I do. Seven of them, right? Yeah, there's seven. That's a new thing with like the K-pop stuff is that there's seven in all the boy bands because New Edition. Well, I think all the old ones were five. Yep. And now it's like we're gonna give you two more. Well, you went from New Edition 
to New Kids on the Block. Right. Then you just jump up to Backstreet Boys. There was five of them. And Sync. 98 and Degrees sync. only had three. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. You don't want more than that. <laughs> no, because it's too many degrees. Here's my fucking favorite. Are you ready? Go. Here's my favorite. This is the worst boy band in the history of boy bands. Uh oh. All of them 98 Degrees, N Sync, LFO, Backstreet Boys. Like, even as a guy, you're like, okay, I get it. Yep. They all look pretty handsome, and the girls would think they're cute, and then, yeah, I, I get it. The, um, God, what's the one? I Swear? Oh, by the Moon and the Stars in the Sky. Yeah. What's the name of that band? Do you remember? And I Swear. Yeah. They look like. I don't know the band. The, the Night Shift at Barnes & Noble. Look, look these guys up, and you'll be like, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, God, well, Color Me Bad? Yes, Color Me Bad. That's right. No, Color Me Bad was another band. Col but even them, no, like the one me, guy. Color Me Bad was another, another band. The one guy looked like George Michael got stung by bees. The other guy looked like a worse version of Kenny G. It was all for one. All for one. All for one could be the least attractive boy band I've ever seen this, in my life. <laughs> Look at that. This guy looks like Look he's on date He looks line. like a bus driver. <laughs> Let me see the right, other ones. You're, you're, that was heartthrobs. Right, but you just said, who These did you These were accessible heartthrobs. You said, I mean, accessibility is what, what the women want. But, they want to, but Attainability is one, what makes you sexy. All for one are like the boys next door if yes. you live in Rawway, New Jersey. <laughs> I mean, let me see the picture of the guy again. I, the, the one looked like a bus driver. He's plump. He's got an astigmatism. Color me bed. I want to sex you up. Do <laughs> I want to sex you up? That one. TikTok, you don't TikTok, stop. TikTok, you don't stop. I'm going to turn it on. TikTok, you don't quit. Okay, so this one looks like a bus driver. Yeah. Okay. This one looks like, this one looks like you'd interview with him at a Foot Locker. <laughs> That one, he looks like he looks like a little he looks a little like a young Bobby Brown. In yeah, that but, picture, but still not as charismatic. Yeah, he looks as like Bobby a, Brown. He looks like yeah, not a not charismatic Bobby. Like Brown. Like Bobby Brown's Nordstroms. This is this is the <laughs> big lots Bobby yeah. Brown. And then this one, look at this. He looks like Luther Vandross if Luther Vandross drowned, and then they came and turned the body over in the water. Oh, that's what he looks. He like. looks like a waterlogged. Luther he looks Vandross. like a waterlogged. Yeah. Yeah. All for and one. I swear. They didn't have real sex appeal. You're right. I love that song. I swear. And I used to. I actually serenaded somebody that at my eighth grade dance. Do you know? I don't Brett, know if it was eighth grade. Do you know Brett Ernst? Dance. Yeah, I know Brett. Brett Ernst is a great comic. Great. Uh, very very East Coast, and he used to tell me that when. <laughs> Don't be dropping Brett Ernst. This one girl, this one girl loved New Kids on the Block, and so his. And I don't know why he told me this story, but every time I hear the song, I think of him, and not that it's played all the time, but when I hear it, it's so funny. So, so please don't go, girl, by New Kids on the Block. This girl he liked liked New Kids on the Block, and he told me <laughs> he would whisper in the girl's ear. He go, "Don't go, girl." <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Hey, if it works. Because it was in the yeah, song. song. Don't go, girl. Yeah. <laughs> to be in a boy band would be the greatest. I, I think back in the day when you're yeah, in high school. Boy bands are great. We all would say, oh, they're homosexuals. There's something wrong with them. There was always the rumor that when that one of the bands came to town, like when you're in high school, oh, he got his stomach pumped and there was a lot of semen in yeah. it. Remember those rumors? <laughs> I was like, do you know how much, like, then you get older, you're like, do you know how much, like, Semen, they'd have to pump at it like it's impossible to have that. Maybe those, like, maybe those rumors are floating around your town. I never really caught that one. No, no. Pittsburgh's a very jaded city. <laughs> guess, but very it's just like it's 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 like literally impossible to. Well, the boy band, the the boy, the craze about the boy band, which was fun, it was always like the there had to be drama around it, but like who's dating who and whatnot. Yeah. So I think that always got infused, but it was always, there was always, wasn't it like always about CD managers? Like weren't always the managers? Yeah. Ron Perlman, right. I believe was the guy that ran everybody. And then he owned like, I remember when I worked in the, it was Orlando, always it was bad deals, right? Like that was always bad deals. He was kind of a shyster kind of guy, yeah, yeah. pyramid schemey kind of guy. But even when like Backstreet and NSYNC came out and all that stuff, uh, I was huge into Oasis at the time, but there was one song even to this day, I'm like, oh, fuck, I love this song. What's that? And it's embarrassing to admit this, but I like that song. <laughs> Doesn't say it. Nobody's listening. Uh, uh, 
as long as you love me by Backstreet Boys. As long as you yeah. love me, I don't care. Who you are, I don't, I don't care. care. Yeah, also and, good. And, Coming from <laughs> <laughs> the sound in my hand. That one. God said, oh, done. Yeah, I love it. But they all get together. I don't care who you are, who you are, where you're from. Where don't you're care from. what you did. did. Just as, as long as you love me, baby. baby. Yeah, <laughs> and that's all the time we have. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> These two cool mommies love you, so show us some love. Please rate us, review us, follow us on all social media, and subscribe to our YouTube.